Hello Capsulea, my name is Gildy and welcome to EVE Online. Today I will talk about a trick no Omega player that moves goods around can go without, that is, if they want to stay safe while doing so. This video will be about the good old micro orb drive cloak jump trick. How does that work exactly? The trick connects two concepts. First of all, for all bigger holding ships like deep space transports, their align times are abysmal around 19 seconds usually. And in order to hit warp, you need to get 75% of your max speed while you want to keep as much tank on the ship as possible. So there is a workaround. If you put a micro warp drive on your ship, you can cycle it once in order to align within 10 seconds. The micro warp drive raises your max speed, yes, but also for the 10 seconds of the duration of its cycle, it increases your speed gain greatly and once the cycle finishes, you are back to your regular max speed, which then makes you immediately achieve warp speed. The drawback of the micro warp drive is that it makes your ship faster to be locked and easier to be shot at, since your signature radius explodes when you use it. The other mechanic in use is cloaking. Cloaking allows you to prevent being locked by other players, which then prevents them from scanning your ship cargo, which is a practice used by gankers, which I mentioned in my tank over cargo space video. The drawbacks of the cloak are lower the movement speed, so you cannot just align, hit cloak, uncloak and then warp, and inability to warp under cloak. Unless you have a ship that can use a cover tops cloak, in which case you will be able to even warp cloaked. Examples of such ships are the Prospect Expedition Frigate and the Blockade Runner ships, Another example is the Endurance, the second expedition frigate ship, which has zero penalty to movement speed under cloak, so it can align, uncloak, and then warp immediately. So, those two mechanics, if put together, allow us to perform the micro warp drive cloak jump trick. What you need to pull it off is Omega clone status, because cloaking is reserved for Omega players only, improved cloaking device as it has only 75% movement speed penalty, while prototype 1 has 90%. Micro warp drive of correct size for your ship. Now, let's see how it works. So you are at a gate while traveling, still under gate cloak. What you need to do to pull this off is to hit a line, then both your micro warp drive and the cloak to start aligning, and I myself turn off the micro warp drive cycle to see the progress bar better, but that's just a preference. And when the micro warp drive cycle is just about to finish, you turn off your cloak and hit warp. As you can see on the screen, game process your uncloaking, then the warp vector establishing, then you hit your warp immediately, making it less likely to be tackled. I will now start performing this trick on the screen while traveling between two points with a deep space transport ship and go over some of its aspects while you see it being executed, hopefully successfully, on the go. The first question is when should you use it? I personally use this technique every single time when I travel from gate to gate and I would see any ship that could be used to scan me on those gates, especially with me living in close proximity of Jita which is the trade capital and, thanks to that, the biggest gank magnet of the game. The second question would be, can you do this with a smaller micro warp drive if you cannot fit the big one on your ship? The answer is yes, but then it becomes only an emergency module that you can use a few times during your travel, rather than a one you can use on every gate because you will need to have at least one level trained in thermodynamic skill and overheat the module for this trick to work. And in order to overheat, you can always hit the middle button next to your capacitor display to overload the rack, click the module while holding the shift button, or again click that little green bar over the module. You can now overheat your modules while under the effect of the gate cloak thanks to a recent change from CCP. What this can do for you is to preheat them so you can immediately click them and have the modules run in the heated mode instead of having to align, then frantically click the heat and then activate your modules. 
one thing to look out for is that overheating damages modules so you might be running the risk of burning them out so either carry a little bit of nanite repair paste or if the module hits 100% damage you will have to dock to repair it next question is can you do this with afterburners afterburners might have a similar ability to punch up your max speed but they only work if you have an overheated one even with the 10mn variety tested on a badger you would need to put an oversized one here to pull it off with regular cycle but the ship does not have the power grid for that And the last question is, is this method bulletproof? Not completely. Most gunkers will not get you if you travel this way, but if they do have a proper setup with very fast frigates, with a bit of luck, they might be able to uncloak you as cloak disables if anything is within the 2000 meter range from you. However, this still increases your security greatly as most groups don't operate with an additional account just for decloaking. And that is the trick. Do test it out first to make sure to get the right timing as this will depend on your skills and the modules you might be using. So do that before you take out all your possessions in a single hauling ship. You might realize that with your particular skills you might need to turn off the cloak a second earlier but that is still better than having to align full 8 for T1 hauler fit I use for the tests or 19 seconds for a deep space transport and being a target throughout that whole time. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to see my future uploads. And if we never see each other again in Space Capsulia, fly safe.